Okay, so it's been 24 hours and um, the box has uh, been up, taken upstairs to where it's been kept at 25 degrees uh, um, Celsius, uh, which I believe works at 73 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't quote me on my math, I'm horrible. But uh, anyway, this sat upstairs for uh, 24 hours um, as prescribed. Um, in the earlier part, we showed the awake. Now what this does is awake the colonies of, uh, of beneficial organisms that are in there. And again, we're talking like 35,000 to activate. Um, so, of course, this is an empty jar. I just saved this here to, uh, to kind of show you. And I uh, wanted to make sure that we touched on that again. Uh, I have no idea what this stuff smells like. I haven't opened it yet. Not quite sure what to expect. Oh, well, you know. Earthy, earthy, beautiful smell. Of course, organic. That's what I like about it. So, um, you know, this cocoa husk is just basically going to be put into its uh, spot. You see here on the bottom where it's actually absorbed some of the awake. See, one thing I noticed was that the awake, this, the two ounces that are in here, when you get it, that it went right through and it was sitting in the bottom. And I was thinking it was going to leak through the box and everything else, but the uh, the, the cocoa husk quickly uh, uh, it's woven together. Uh, giving a perfect again. I know I repeat myself, but it's best for teaching because this again is cutting edge. You need that 16 to 1 air ratio. When we put this cartridge into the container here, um, the water is going to be hitting it in such a way that it's going to force that 16 to 1 air ratio that we were talking about. Uh, the first thing that we need to do though is frenzy. Uh, in the previous segment, I actually named off all the foods. Um, I believe there were six different organisms in frenzy. Uh, uh, beneficial organisms and of course one of them actually being a, a form of molasses uh, which I found very the, the sixth one um, this is what goes into the feeding frenzy this is, and I'm assuming that's what kicks off uh, um, the inoculants it just gets it gets this uh, uh, similar to with uh, worm castings if you have a worm farm you know just kind of gets this um, activity going so all said we, we're going to pick up our lid. Now you may also remember that I filled this with water yesterday. As you can see it's dripping there. It's preloaded with its five gallons of distilled water or in this case, uh, well same thing, distilled water but purified water. Um, running, a, running an RO machine or a, a purifying machine of some sort to get rid of the chloramine or the chlorine uh, to do that. And then the cartridge comes out the way it is, okay, and it's just going to go right down in here. And it's going to fit down into the five slot. So I push it down into the five slot. Um, and then we take our frenzy. And this is like really idiot proof. Um, the frenzy is just going to be spread out randomly. Yeah, it's yellow powder. My camera lady can zoom in on this. I don't know if she can see it. Orangey kind of powder coming out here. This is what is going to soon kick everything off. So once you add that, of course make sure there's none left. On goes your lid. Make sure you set the extract. Plug in your machine. And then you can hear the machines running now. So I can feel that it's on extract. So 24 hours from now, I'm going to have a brew done. Now when the brew is finished, it looks like this. So you may have seen these back time because you use about 70 mils per gallon uh, when you're feeding. So you can imagine that uh, five gallons does quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of uh, covers quite a bit of uh, medium. Which is good because my wife likes to grow herbs and likes to grow uh, uh, grow certain fruits in the summer, so it's uh, uh, another big benefit. So uh, these are the bags that they that they come in um, for you retailers out there that may be interested in in not necessarily. I know the machine may be expensive, but there are retailers that can put this machine in their store, a small vermity fridge, and bam, load it up with these because uh, you know I cannot speak enough about. Like I said this is a cutting edge science. And one other thing I didn't mention in the previous show, vermity has been proven to actually kill powdery mildew. Um, its beneficial microbes are actually eating mildew. 
Okay, so these organisms are actually, if you can have it, you're just, you, as long as you're not spraying your plants with chemicals or, or hitting your base with chemicals, you're talking about living microorganisms, microbial science. That's where we're at. I mean, I love just hearing the single right now, it's brewing. One more tip for those of you that might be considering getting a machine or already have one, don't open it during the 24 hours of brewing. Um, it can seriously have adverse effects on your actual brew. Um, you know, how all this works, once, it's, once again, like I said, it's been a, it's been a research uh, project. I'm glad I'm able to actually talk over this machine, that helps. As you can see in the bottom, you haven't got much left. Um, so it's really a no mess solution. That's your one cartridge. And when it's done, it's actually, I went one step further because I wanted you to have an idea to see. This will usually run you about 15 bucks at the hydro store just for a half gallon. But there's an idea, I gotta feed a plant here in a couple minutes, so. There's an idea of the color of your brew when it's done, and I can tell you now, it is always 110% consistent. I haven't had any influxes, nothing. Uh, no flux, period. Uh, it's just been a consistent brew. I think the only time there'd be a flux is if I tried to break that cocoa husk in half, um, uh, to reduce the amount uh, to make like two and a half gallons instead, instead of five. That's your brew. This is uh, one way to store it. There's also jugs. The company can send you hard jugs that are, I believe, uh, um, one gallon jugs each. And of course, it would take five of those to, to store even a small cartridge. Um, and again, you need a fridge. Um, the Vermity fridge fits these bags perfect. I'm not sure exactly how many it holds, but uh, and uh, one other thing. I suggest anybody, whether you're using bottles or bags, put the expiration date on the back of it. Um, we really don't want to be sitting there hitting our plants with microbials that are just not microbials anymore because they, they basically die. Um, so after 14 days, two weeks, you know, you can look at degrega degradation factors. So you can even take it to say 21 days, but at 21 days, no, just ch chuck it out, get rid of it, and that's where having your expiration date is so important. So, uh, all the last part is, is that this really effectively breaks down nutrients, protects like a, a, a protective mechanism for the rooting system, but also breaks down those hard organics and those things that normally cause nutrient lockout. This works almost like a chemical flush, only it's organic. You know, it works as a flush, it can be used as a flush. It helps to break down those organics and helps with the uh, increase in uptake, which is extremely important. Um, you know, as I say in many, many movies, uh, what goes on with the root determines the fruit. So let's just look after our root of the system. And it starts with microbials, and that's where we're going. I mean, that's where the future. Just another point in fact, if you didn't catch it in the previous segment, it takes approximately 1,000 pounds of worm castings to get what's in here, the 35,000 beneficial organisms that are in this bag, this half gallon bag, takes 1,000 pounds of worm castings. Believe it or not, that's what it would take to get this kind of uh, get this kind of activity. I found that in itself to be amazing. So I mean, this is certainly a product a product worth checking out. This is out. Jason Wilcox bringing to you the Verma T 510 extractor, and uh, we'll see you in our next movie where we're going to bring you some more new and exciting things. Cheers.